Hi, we're back with another session of digital recording with the VS1880 digital recorder. These are things that are good to know. Now first there's a couple of things I want to show you and that's shift lock and fan control for when you're uh, doing uh, vocals really close to the machine you might want to turn the fan off for uh, the mic won't catch it and uh, so what we do here is we go to shift and hold this down and go to system and then go to global as you can see here there's quite a few different parameters you can go through and we'll go through a lot of these later in another video but the first thing I wanted to show you was shift lock here and you just use the uh, the wheel to shift it over from off to on and that enables you just to press down your shift button and it locks so that you can use your fingers to do other things and the fan control is right here so you can turn it to just play or record and play just play doesn't really make any sense uh, record and play makes a little sense but just record would make more sense because since you only really need your fan to be off when you're recording an open mic so those two and then now you go over here to exit because you see the exit here we go to exit we set those and then we go over here to play to exit out of that screen as you can see I just press this button and the shift so anything I press is a shift so if I pressed here and these channels were separated then I'd press that and I'd get 16 and then if I pressed it again and the light wasn't on I would get 15 show you about uh, the inputs and outputs and stuff and you can see this diagram here so the first row will be the top set of inputs and outputs and the second row will be down below those I wanted to show you the foot switch so that uh, the guitar uh, direct in is on top and this foot switch is on the bottom down here and what the foot switch does is enables you to do a few things so if you go to system system PM parameter 2 and there's your foot switch we go here down there and with the wheel you can change it to different things record or well, what do you know oh, you can do that record you can uh, do a marker use a foot switch for tapping markers go to the next marker to the previous marker a GPI I set it on uh, play and stop so that I can uh, start it recording start to play and re record because I usually use uh, punch in, auto punch so that's where that is so let's talk about stereo ends now uh, I like stereo ends because they make uh, the instruments come in through stereo and it sounds much better, it's much evenly much more evenly dispersed across the stereo signal and you just go into here, stereo in and you use the wheel to, to, to pick the channels like 5 and 6 so I have keyboards so I would probably use that 
and I have a stereo uh, guitar module in 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 are mics so I probably wouldn't use it there and 7 and 8 uh, is um, usually my drums so I would yes use it there too so I usually record things individually since I'm here by myself and uh, so I can just switch the stereo channels to whichever thing I'm recording guitar or keyboards or drums or whatever Let's look at the effects uh, the effects if you, you need two cards for four stereo effects if you see in Inside each channel, there's four stereo effects. And an auxiliary channel that I guess you can put some other effects in, uh, external effects if you feel. Um, so that's on the channel. So now let's look at where you go to adjust those effects. Effects XA. Uh, usually, uh, looks like I have a limiter there and a delay and if I go out of there and hit effects B I have a guitar multi and a stereo multi compressor uh, on that 4 and then you can if you wanted to change it you could go in here and then hit select and it gives you a large a, uh, what's a, a large selection of all kinds of things you can use the wheel to to pick from exit out of there exit and exit out of there and that is with VS8F-2 effects Actually, it's called an expansion board, but it's an effects board that uh, you use, and it has instructions to put them on. You have to undo the back, uh, unscrew the back, and and slip them in the slots. And uh, you get two of those, and they're about 300 apiece. But they give you four channels of effects that you can use on your mains, uh, main channels. Uh, master channels or you can use on each of these individual channels here and uh, that's your effects